where Kerr tells a story that one day after attending one of Lacan's lectures, he received a phone call. And it was Lacan, and Lacan wanted to know Recur's thoughts. that he told this him, disconnection, Lacan, a response that believer, he didn't understand any of it. And I was and wondering that Lacan is hung up on him. This the response Recur tells a story. This disconnection after attending a response one of Lacan's believer, lectures he received. And do you think that St. Paul, in effect, would hang up on us or hang up on those who didn't understand his message? First, it doesn't surprise me. Is not the, the, the only thing that surprises me here is why did Lacan call Recur at all? First, first, it doesn't surprise me. What, the only thing that surprises me here is why did Lacan call Recur at all? First, first, it doesn't surprise me. What, the only thing that surprises me here is why did Lacan call It's totally clear if you read Recur that Recur moves within a certain hermeneutic horizon out of which you simply, which is totally, basically totally incompatible with Lacan. Religion in general, his approach is radically non-hermeneutic, meaning is not the ultimate horizon. Meaning is not the ultimate horizon. I don't think we should draw any big fundamental metaphysical or whatever message from it. I am with Lacan. I am with Lacan. Meaning is not the ultimate horizon. I am with Lacan. I am with Lacan. Meaning is not the ultimate horizon. I am with Lacan. 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 That is to say, what I tried to do is to precisely, as I emphasized, reading Christianity beyond this horizon of meaning. Which is why I feel at a distance towards... that recur moves within a certain hermeneutic horizon right. out of which you simply which is totally basically totally incompatible with Lacan. <laughs> 